Hello everyone, I am Akash Srivastav, your law mentor and in today's Law Wednesday session, I am going to discuss legality of child witness and the laws related to same. So the first thing that should come to your mind is that which act governs witness. So Indian Evidence Act and Oaths Act, these are the two acts which provides laws related to witness in India. Then is the definition of witness given anywhere in the law, either in Indian Evidence Act or Oaths Act? So the legal standing is or the law is that the definition of witness is nowhere given but by reading various provisions related to same in both the acts you will be able to understand what exactly witness means. So you must have seen in mock test also that this question comes to you that are they recognized in India when we are talking about are they recognized in India we are talking about child witness if there is any witness who is below 18 years of age, whether they are recognized by law to be a valid witness or not. Because you must understand that when we talk about child witness, they can be manipulated also. So according to section 118 of Indian Evidence Act, it is saying that there is no age limit. Any person can be the witness if he or she is able to understand and comprehend and to provide rational answers. So whatever question is being asked by court to them, if they are able to understand what is the question and if they are able to comprehend what exactly they need to answer and they are providing the rational answer for the same question, they will be they can be a valid witness. And again, as I said in according to section 118 of Indian Evidence Act, there is no age limit. So there is no minimum age that above 12 years or above 15 years or, or above 18 years only of these age a person can be a witness. So this is there is no law related to same. The law is saying that if you are able to understand and comprehend the law and you are able to give rational answer for the question that is being asked by court, you can be a valid witness. Now as I said that according to section 118 of Indian Evidence Act, no, every person can be a witness if he or she is able to understand the question, he is able to understand and comprehend the question and able to give the rational answer. So there is no minimum age. But when we talk about Indian Oaths Act, according to section 4, clause 1, it is saying that if we are talking about the testimony, only a person above the age of 12 years can give the valid testimony. So there is a conflict between these two sections. But again, when we talk about that Oaths Act, they are trying to say that if any person is able to understand the value of testimony, only then he can be a valid witness and give the valid testimony. So for giving the testimony, you need to understand what exactly the value of testimony. You are able to understand the seriousness of same. But when we talk about being a valid witness, any person can be a valid witness if he or she can uh, are able to understand the question and give rational answer. Now when we talk about the admissibility and competence of a child witness, the first test is why diet test. It means that to speak the truth. So if court is asking questions from a child witness, so for example, if a witness is of say seven years of age and question is being asked to the witness, then to test whether the person is giving the rational answer, whether the person is able to understand the question, court is going to ask some random questions around the fact. So he may, the court may ask the name of the person, where exactly he lives, the name of the school in which he studies, or some information related to his neighborhood also. So through these questions, what exactly court is trying to do is trying to understand whether the person is able to speak the truth or not. So this is the first test that court will have to bring into picture if they are testing or if they are if there is any particular child witness and they have to test whether the person is speaking the, the truth or not. Now section 114 of Indian Evidence Act, according to this section, they are trying to say if there is any particular child witness, the court needs to be very much cautious. So if they are admitting or if they are uh, convicting any person only on the basis of a child witness, then they need to be very cautious about it. So one important question that should come to your mind is that is corroboration needed? So what exactly it means? It means that if there is any particular child witness, do we need to support that whatever he is trying to say or she is trying to say with any other witness or not? So it happens according to section 114 of Indian Evidence Act, they are saying that if the witness that is child, that is below 12 years of age or 18 years of age, when we talk about OAS Act, they are trying to say below 12 years of age. When we talk about the Indian Evidence Act, they are trying to say below 18 years of age. So is the corroboration, uh, corroboration needed? Yes, definitely it is needed. But again, it is not mandatory in nature. 
if court thinks that the witness that is child is giving the correct answer to all the question that is being to uh, that is being asked to them then in that case court can go ahead with that so it is not mandatory in nature but it is recommended so when we talk about the child witness i said that according to section 118 there is no minimum age but when we talk about the testimony according to section 4 clause 1 of oaths act only a person above 12 years of age can give the testimony and when we talk about whether the corroboration is needed whether any supplementary evidence is needed or not so it is recommended but again it is not mandatory in nature so there are two landmark judgment that we are going to discuss the first one is suresh versus state of up in this case what happened testimony of a, even a 5 year old person was taken into consideration so court again as i said that it is not uh, mandatory in nature that they cannot accept any witness that is a uh, minor or that a person is a child so in this case what happened court took into consideration even a testimony of a 5 year old child the second landmark judgment is rameshwar versus state of rajasthan in this case what happened the court said that the person to whom you are bringing before the court of law as a witness needs to understand the value of oath if he is not able to understand the value of oath then there is a high probability the answer that the person is providing may be manipulated may be incorrect in nature so these are the two landmark judgment that says that even if the person is below 12 years of age that can be taken as uh, that can that particular person can be a valid witness so in this case suresh versus state of up even a child of 5 year old was given a testimony and in the second case the court is saying that if you are bringing someone before the court of law as a testimony then the person should understand the value of oath he should understand the seriousness of oath so in this session we discussed what exactly is law related to child witness when we talk about child witness what uh, section 118 and section 114 of indian evidence act says what section 4 clause 1 of oaths act says and is there any conflict between indian evidence act and oaths act and in last we discuss about the admissibility of child witness and then the landmark judgment so this was all with respect to today's session guys i hope the session was informative enough thank you